Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the 4K King. I'm Roger, and today I got in my Walmart.com order. Bullet Train from Sony Pictures arrived, and I saw this one theaters, but I had a coupon, and I decided to pick it up through Walmart. I wasn't planning on getting this. Uh, the Steelbook is about 45 I think I want to say they had it listed at. It's higher end. Uh, because it has some cars, cards in it, some like cards, which we'll go over, um, which I do find unfortunate because I don't think people want to pay forty five dollars for this one, just like they didn't want to for Resident Evil, Raccoon City, or the Uncharted one. But they always throw this this random junk in there so that they can get an extra buck out of the big steel book collectors. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look at this again. I'm really excited to show you guys this one. I'm excited to watch it today. Uh, here's your J card, not much to it, and you can take a look, pause if you'd like to read, you do get your digital copy. Uh, nice to know this does have Dolby Vision and Atmos, I'll let you guys know how this looks because I'm assuming it's going to look f fantastic. When I saw it in theaters, when I left, the first thing I said was this is going to look great in 4K, so taking a look at your cover here, I really love this cover. Uh, you can kind of see you got the characters' faces lined up there uh, that he goes after and about during the movie. It's kind of hard to make out their faces, but you could tell there's Bad Bunny. Um, so yeah, I love this artwork. I think this artwork is phenomenal looking. On the back, it says Quiet Car, which is a joke from the movie. Uh, they were not quiet, but yeah. I think I would have preferred if this was a wraparound steelbook and this artwork would have wrapped around and maybe like a cool fight scene or something on the back in the same artsy style. But I still really like this. I think it looks nice. Alrighty. So, you do get a digital copy code that you can use to redeem your movie digitally if you're looking for digital copy. Alright, so there are your art cards. Let's go over these cards and then we'll go over the disc. Because I'd assume this is maybe what people are interested in. Knowing what is really, you know, why they're charging so much. Um, so yeah, they are in a little baggy here. That, I will say, they're... Alright, well let's just go over them. Uh, so here's the first one. You got the Ladybug, Brad Pitt. I mean, they're not very high quality at not glossy just kind of standard print they're a, they're literally about as tall as a steel book so not that big a little bit shorter then you have the hornet I don't know her name in, as an actor I don't know his name either but he was my favorite character lemon <laughs> he was real funny i mean they're cool but like uh, Mama no, Ma, Momo, Mono. I, I have the prints here. Okay, we got Sun. His name is just Sun. Come. Okay. Uh, we got Tangerine. He was pretty funny. We got White Death, Michael Shannon. And finally, we got Wolf, Bad Bunny. Which, uh, I do like this art card. That's pretty dope looking. I like that. So, those are the art cards you're getting. Um, do I think it's worth a $10 price increase? Hell no. Um, yeah. So, if, if you're in the Steelbooks, though, you're probably going to end up picking it up anyways. So, they've already got you there. But, yeah. Let's get back into actual Steelbook. Um, so, taking a look at this. There's your spine. Kind of see it wrap around. And, alright, let's take a look at our disc. We do have the 4K disc here. It is rated R. Columbia logo, Sony pictures, all that good stuff. And I do like this disc. I did not... I'm a little shocked that they chose to put this dude on the disc. I would have expected Brad Pitt and maybe Bad Bunny or I don't know. But... Here's Brad Pitt on the other Blu-ray, or on the Blu-ray disc. Pretty cool. And our inside artwork, um, uh, I'm not sure how to feel about this. On one hand, I don't hate it, 
but on the other hand, it's a wasted opportunity, I feel like. Um, they really could have put something um, that would have, like, wrapped around in the inside or just a still from the movie, maybe. I'm not, because, like, can't even see that unless the discs are out. And, uh, yeah. But it's not bad looking. I just think they could have done a little bit more, um, especially because there was a lot of very uh, cinematic scenes, put it that way. That really could have looked nice. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's put these put these cards back in. Oh my god. There is quite a few of them though. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Almost ten. So wait, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I was making sure. There is nine, so I mean Take that as you will. Uh, do I think it's worth $45? No. I'd say maybe wait and see if this one goes on sale. But if you see that it's going quick, then maybe grab it. Because you don't want to be the person who missed out on this. Especially if you're wanting it. Um, so yeah. That is it. Let me know what you guys thought of this movie. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought of the Steelbook and release. With that, we're gone.